Hi, and welcome back to electrictv.net. I'm Dominic Curitano, hosting this time around for Tom Green. Nope, your computer screen isn't broken at all. You're looking at me through the lens of an infrared camera. There, that's better. Today we're talking about thermography, a process which can help owners save and make money. And Michael Stewart, our uh, expert thermographer for today. How you doing, Michael? Real good. Welcome to Fluke. Thank you. Uh, this is a thermal imaging device. Correct. We're going to go through that today, but I think first of all, what, what is thermography? Well, thermography is essentially the detecting and measuring of heat patterns on equipment so you can determine the health of the equipment be able to inspect it and make sure things don't go awry. And what is it, I guess, what's it good for? Uh, it's really good for just about any kind of application that an eco-contractor, facilities manager, building owner would be concerned with. Electrical, mechanical, HVACR, building envelope, roofing, and many, many other applications. Why is it so important? Well, it's useful technology because it's non-contact and it allows you to determine the health of the equipment or whatever you're inspecting uh, if it's too hot, if it's too difficult to reach, if contacting it could you know, cause a hazard or actually affect the process or the equipment itself. And we're going to see a couple applications here on site today of uh, yes, we are. this baby in action. Yes, we are. Okay, let's go Real check life. it out. Okay. Dominic, the first thing we're going to start off with here today is uh, something that is found in every single building on the planet, uh, the electrical distribution panel. Mm -hmm. Electricians are used to this. As you can see, we're, we've already got the dead front removed. It's already opened. We have our proper protective gear for where we are. Uh, we look good and we're going to be safe. And even though this is a non-contact technology, you still need to follow the proper safety rules and wear the proper PPE. And I'm wearing different things uh, than you are, but that's that's code. We're up to code. You're okay. We're, we're outside of the boundary on this. This isn't high voltage, but this is enough to demonstrate what we're going to do here today. According to Fluke, the distribution panel is one of the top six places an owner should be looking for energy loss. And the biggest hot spot here is what's known as a high resistance connection, which is either too loose or too tight of a connection. Either way, it creates heat and robs power from where it's coming from to where it's going to. And the industry term for this is called an I squared R loss. Over the period of a year, it might only be a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, something like that. But if you fix that, you've saved that amount of money. But think about the typical number of electrical connections that are in today's facilities. You can have hundreds of thousands, millions. If only 10% of these things are high resistance connection, those dollars here and there add up. So you're actually saving some pretty serious money and you're also making sure that the equipment that's uh, being run off of that circuit downstream is working properly. The final thought here is, the older your electrical system is, the more in danger you may actually be, day by day, month by month. Another common piece of equipment that uh, facility owners and managers need to be concerned about are motors and pumps. Uh, motors and pumps are everywhere in today's world. They uh, run HVAC systems, they circulate water. Uh, it's sort of integra integral to the facility and to its proper operation. Electricians can come into a facility and then they can uh, use thermal imaging as a tool to help maintain this equipment and make sure it's operating properly. A common statistic that's found out in the industry today is that uh, if you run a motor more than 10 degrees uh, centigrade over its maximum operating temperature, you've cut that motor's life in half. And it's pretty expensive to replace some of these bigger, bigger units. It's also a real pain, so you want to try to avoid that kind of thing if you're a facilities manager. Motors and pumps are another one of the top six places to look for energy loss, and considering they have one of the biggest energy appetites in any facility, it's no wonder why. And there are five places that are scanned when a thermal imaging study is done on a motor or a pump. Airflow, electrical unbalance, bearings, insulation, and electrical connections. And the energy loss here once again disguises itself. So a lot of times the facility managers are losing money and they don't even realize they are. They've only budgeted a certain amount every month and it turns out their equipment isn't operating properly. So that's slowly creeping up on them. So it's very, very important to have an electrician or a contractor come in and actually maintain these things. An emergency situation, emergency maintenance can cost up to 10 times the cost of regular preventive maintenance. And part of that preventive maintenance should be thermography. 
Michael, we've seen two situations today where thermography can really uh, show us, uh, you know, hot spots in electrical distribution panel uh, when inspecting a motor. You know, but there are larger concerns here for an owner or building uh, I agree. manager here. Uh, risk mitigation, uh, insurance concerns. Maybe go ahead and talk about that. Yes, uh, saving money, saving energy, and making money through offering new services is only part of the situation. The other part of it is correct: risk mitigation and insurance concerns. A lot of insurers nowadays will not actually insure your building or facility unless you perform a thermal uh, infrared inspection every so often. Okay, so that's a good thing to do. You get some insurance breaks, but you know the worst possible thing that you can happen in your facility is if someone gets hurt. So you don't want to have that. There's no price tag you can have on that. So thermography actually helps from a safety aspect as well. The expertise, skills, knowledge, and uh, professionalism of the NECA IBEW team that we talk about here on this website all the time. Talk about how that applies to thermography and uh, in your device here. To be honest with you, Fluke is very, very proud to have been a partner of IBEW NECA for almost 20 years now with our partnership with the NJTC program. Uh, we learned very early on that a lot of these electrical workers, they don't learn from books and presentations on a screen or a television set. They learn by doing hands-on. So we do our best to provide uh, equipment for hands-on training. We provide some curricula, we provide training materials, anything that they would really need to get their teeth into the new technologies and start employing them on a regular basis to do all these things we talked about. Save money, make money, mitigate risk, improve safety, you name it. You know, this is where it's at nowadays, and this is where uh, NECA contractors need to be thinking. Well, Michael, thanks for your time today. We appreciate yes. you uh, spending uh, a few minutes with us, showing us the device, uh, teaching us about thermography. We certainly appreciate it. Thanks and, for coming uh, by anytime. Oh, absolutely, and uh, you heard it from him. Interested in thermography, get in touch with your local IBEW NECA team, and they'll be sure to set you right up.